project of the day guys this is the doorway right here that I need a gate up to right now this headboard this twin sized headboard <laughs> it's kind of working but I mean it's working but you got to scoot it on the inside of the doorway here excuse my foot and on the outside of the doorway here or the cats knock it over so it looks it looks bad and it's a pain in the neck so we're gonna fix that. I did trash pick, trash pick. It was a curbside find, okay? That sounds better. But curbside find, a, parts of a baby bed. And I showed that to you in this other video. And it's gonna fit perfectly in this space. So we are gonna make that work. It needs cut down, the legs need cut down. Otherwise, what's the point? the animals can get right under it. <laughs> and that's what this is for. The animals around here. All right, let's get busy on this and see what we can do. Okay, the legs are sawed, but these plastic pieces right here are still connected, which actually really helped out with sawing off the legs. That way they sawed off nice and straight with no splintering when I was all the way through. Now I'm gonna take my screwdriver and remove all those. Let's work smarter, not harder. Here's my little supplies that I found in my toolbox. So I already had the stuff on hand. Here's some cup hooks. Got some cup hooks here. We've got this latch that hooks into this little ring right here. So a little hook and eye closure type thing. Getting stuff on my stand. And then these eye hooks. Yay, I had everything I need. Okay, let's get started. All right guys, I'm making a heck of a mess here. Look at the paint that comes off of this baby bed piece. It's like, did somebody really use this as a baby bed because <laughs> the paint chips off really bad? Okay, see my Tupperware containers here. I had to even out the floor and set these Tupperware containers down so that I could hold the little gate piece up off the floor while I was trying to mark my holes, which I did. And I really just eyeballed them, so I'm kind of going to fit it now and see, make sure it fits. I haven't done that yet, so you guys are going to see me do that. And keep your fingers crossed, please. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to continue. And yes, we have this lamp in there and a cord going through because there's like two plugs in that whole room and the light quit working. So, anyway. <laughs> hey, we make do. We make do. So, here we go. Let's get these other hooks in and I'm just starting them with my hand 
I'm finishing them up. I'll show you how I'm finishing them up. Maybe you already know. You might already know. Finishing them up like this. Well, let's do this one first. This is going to be a little bit harder to do because I'm hitting the floor. It was easier with the higher ones, so I didn't hit the floor. Okay, bad angle, bad angle. See if it's gonna fit real quick. Ooh, please fit, please fit. <laughs> oh, let's move this thing out of the way. All right, so first of all, I had to like put it in the open position to get it to go on, but it did fit. Everything lined up pretty good. I just needed a third hand to do it. So I had to get creative and use both hands and my foot underneath. Once it popped right into place, it kind of surprised me. It popped right into place. I'm like, okay, I'm not taking this back off to show you. I'm not doing it because I'm sweating just doing that. <laughs> Big mess on the floor. I'm gonna clean that up as soon as I'm finished here. And it swings right through. Don't mind my box of paint supplies sitting there. So it swings right through and I don't really want that to happen. So I'm gonna put this little latch on it to keep that from happening. All right, here we go. We have a latch on here now. Latch is real easy, just like that. So it's not going to go anywhere. Animals can't fit around the edges. They can't fit under. Cats can jump it, but that's okay. The cats are okay. We just want to keep the dog out of here. Okay, this is awesome. Now I need to take it back off, unfortunately. I am going to have to take it back off here because I'm going to have to take this outside and sand it down because, I mean, look, there's paint all over just coming off. I mean, just from me handling it. So opening and closing it a few times, yeah, all this paint's gonna come off. Anyway, I planned on painting it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, what do you think of that, Winston? You look like you're in jail. You're in doggy jail. I got all the loose bits of paint sanded off and wiped it down real good with a wet cloth and it's all dry. So I figured I would just enjoy the morning sunshine and just, lay it out on the picnic table and paint it by hand. I could spray paint, but nah, I decided to do it by hand instead. It's actually kind of therapeutic. <laughs> it's a really nice morning, so why not? So I'm just gonna get this painted on both sides and let it dry real good. And this, this is chalk paint and it dries like super fast, especially out in the sunshine. We've got the trash man coming around in the alleys back there. So you might hear the trash man, the garbage truck. But yeah, I'm just using the Waverly. Let me show you. This Waverly plaster chalk paint. The color is plaster. That's what I'm using. I thought I'd bring it inside to put on the finishing touch. And I just wanted to kind of share with you what I'm doing. I'm using this Waverly Wax in Antique along with a piece of a cut up t-shirt. So all I'm really doing is rubbing it on, just covering the cloth with a little bit of paint and rubbing it on. 
and I am really, really loving the way it's looking. And I am wearing my gloves because every single time I use this technique, I get paint under my fingernails and it takes me days to get it all out. So this is what I'm doing and I'll show you the rest, or I, I should say I'll show it to you when I'm finished. Thank you.